Shasha. He under the Bukundi Asadaranabaha. Hallelujah. 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 There's deliverance in the house. If you're under the sound of my voice and you have an addiction, I don't care. Hallelujah. If it's a physical addiction of drugs and nicotine, alcohol, if it's an emotional addiction, if you're addicted to pornography or some other, something else that has its evil claws in you, I'm telling you right now, there is deliverance in this house. That might not mean much to you if you're not addicted. But if you've ever been addicted, if you've ever been under the clutch of Satan, and you remember what it felt like when Jesus set you free. If you'll celebrate your liberation, God is going to fall on somebody right now. The Holy Ghost is going to fall on somebody right now. Because there's faith in the house. There's faith in the house. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come against addictions. I come against every form of addiction. I come against emotional addiction, physical addiction, psychological addiction. I break you by the authority of the name of the Most High God, the Lord of hosts, whose name is Jesus. Release God's children. Release those that are bound. Release those that are in bondage. I see chains falling right now. Right now, chains are falling. Lay your hand on somebody if you know they need prayer. Minister to somebody. In Jesus' name. If somebody ministers to you, do not be a shy or be afraid. You've been struggling with doubt and fear. You've been under a bondage of fear. You've been under a bondage of fear. The Holy Ghost is here to liberate you from your fear. You have by your giving, you have by your concern, showed a spirit of love. And where there is a spirit of love, it cast out fear. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of fear. I come against the spirit of deluding faith, of deluding faithlessness to those that have been under, hallelujah, a delusion that have not been able to believe you. I come against that fear right now in Jesus' name. I curse you in the only high and noble name of all creation in Jesus' name. I bind you and I command you. Take your hands off God's children. Take your hands off God's anointed and appointed exercise your authority right now in worship if you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost it's here right now right now if you make yourself known the Holy Ghost will fall upon you if it hasn't already If you've been seeking for, for a year, it doesn't matter. Tonight, your night. Somebody was obedient to their giving today. Someone responded in faith through your giving. And your obedience is connected to your blessing. Today's, hear my voice, today's obedience is connected to tomorrow's blessing. You're not only going to reap tonight, but you're going to reap tomorrow. God honors obedience. There is nothing more powerful than obedience. And somebody gave. Somebody gave in faith. 
and it's your time to receive the Holy Ghost. Because of your obedient giving, your heart has made perfect before God and God will pour out His Spirit upon you in an instant. Hallelujah! What you're doing is magnificent. This body is ministering. This body is ministering. I told you, you're on assignment. You're on assignment. Get your gift right here tonight so that tomorrow you leave this house on assignment. That when you leave here, when you wake up in the morning, you just tingle with excitement of what God is going to do through you this week. If you'll do what I'm asking you, we'll have unprecedented visitors here tomorrow night. You'll have guests. You'll have people that you never thought would come to church that'll be here tomorrow night. Because when you leave on assignment, God's going to hook you up by divine appointment. Just like he went to Cornelius. What would be wrong with asking God, hallelujah, to send angels, hallelujah, to people in this community? What would be wrong with asking God to send angels to minister to the heirs of salvation? Those that have not yet come in, but like Cornelius, have a heart for the things of God. Would you right now lift your voices, lift your faith, and ask God that he would do what he did in the book of Acts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what you came looking for tonight. But it's here. It's here. If you'll get involved, it's here. Jesus, it is your will for there to be manifestations of your angelic host in this city. I ask that you send forth a contingent of your heavenly host. I ask that you send forth messenger angels. That you send messenger angels into this community. That tonight, that you send angelic visitation. Do you believe in that? Do you believe in that? I've never seen an angel, but I'm expecting to. I'm expecting to. It's gonna happen. It's Book of Acts. It's real. Send your ministering spirits that we might divinely intersect with those that you have anointed, that you have called into your kingdom. Let them come from every walk of life. Let them come from, from, a, from the streets. Let them come, hallelujah, from the gangs. And from those, hallelujah, that are living in the pits of sin. But God, search among those that have the means to bless your kingdom financially. Do not forget the rich and the wealthy. Do not forget the high and the mighty. Send angels of your presence. Send angels of your presence. Send angels of your presence. If you don't know what to do right now, just close your eyes and pray in tongues. Just let out your voice. God wants to send you on assignment. He wants to divinely direct you. You got to see yourself as an instrument of salt and light. You are the salt of the world. You are the light of the world.